Okay, so done with the value based visualizations. Now I want to bring in some other beautiful visualizations like charts and graphs to bring in some more analytics and you know, uh, visual aspect in my dashboard. But before I do that, first of all, let me go back here and let me select, let me remove this uh, filter on this slicer on the ears. And once I have done that, let me, you know, uh, bring it a little closer, these values a little closer so that I can actually fit in more visualizations on the same dashboard. So for that, let me first of all, copy all of them. And let me bring that here at the bottom. I'm sorry, not this one. Let me bring that here at the bottom of the page. Let me get it here in the corner and let me get them a little closer so that I can bring those values from the other column in the same pane. Okay, so once I have done that, let me fit in the sales here as well. And now one more thing is remaining and that is to fit in that last value of sales as well that is sales ttd i really want to fix fit that as well in the same line so let me because i want to have more dashboards more more charts i mean so let me bring that in closer and once i have done that i can now try to fix it here let me see if it works okay so it's kind of it is kind of working so fine good for me for now okay so let me bring that this one okay so all right it is acceptable so even though it's not looking very nice so i will just spend one more minute please bear with me and okay so yes it is now a little uh, decent okay so i just need to bring to a few more visualizations and that should be charts and graphs right so i already have prepared a chart for sales in my starting lectures so i can simply copy and paste from there as well <laughs> but why i should be doing that i can simply do that within a second here right so let me bring in a line chart and on that line chart i want to see my value here in the amount and i want to apply the filter on this subclass that the subclass should be sales i hope you are confident with this now uh, okay so our subclass should be sales and once i have done that please hide the filter and in the in the axis i want to bring in the date so i will bring in i will drag in the date in the axis and now you can see that we have a line chart and before moving forward i would just you know uh, break it down so that it is showing me trend at more lower level and some more fixes that I want to see first of all I don't want to see these headings of amount and year that is quite obvious so I'm gonna go to format and I would say okay let me select the the, the chart and then go to format and then I will say go to x axis and please turn off the title let us go to y axis now and let us turn off the title so i'm not removing the axis altogether i'm just removing the title it depends on you how do you like to see your data and amount by year and quarter that heading is looking quite awkward so i will go back to this again and i will say change that title to say call it sales revenue okay or even right so sales revenue and again i have to do some basic formatting so i'll make it centrally aligned and i want to see this in a background and then i want to make this font as calibri so it only took a few seconds and i, I have done that formatting so i'll make it a bit more smaller all right so, okay so we have okay let it is not looking it very clear now so this size is fine okay so now that we have made this a uh, chart for sales revenue I need to replicate this chart for the gross profit and for the net profit as well and that should be very simple I will simply copy and paste this chart at the bottom and now I will say I want to apply the gross profit and for that I will play with the filter but how I'm going to do that let me show you on the chart of accounts and in that chart of accounts I was I was I already have applied the filter that subclass should be sales right so for gross profit, I don't want to see subclass. I will say the class should be trading account. So let me go back and in those filters, I'm going to say, please remove this and then please bring in the class from the chart of accounts. Please bring in the class as trading account. 
okay so this is going to be trading and this one okay so once we have done that you can see that okay it is quite a similar line so that looks exciting so but i can assure you that this is uh you know uh, the gross profit and by the way you can simply if you can visualize that closely you will notice that this chart is actually going to for that particular quarter if i can just go back to the yearly level you will notice that very quickly go upwards and at yearly level this chart is going to something like 7.83 million and if i go back on this one as well uh, go back on the year and you will notice that this one is at 5.341 so we can assure you that even though the chart is looking quite similar to the uh, each other but they represent the different number and finally let me quickly bring in the net profit as well so control c and control v and now i want to bring in the net profit which means that if i go back to chart accounts i will show you uh in the last graph i was saying the class should be trading account but now i should i will have to say trading account as well as operating and so much so much so i can simply say the report should be net uh, profit and loss and in that case you know everything in the pnl will be compiled together and we know the net figure is net profit okay so i will say go back and in the filters remove this filter on the trading account and rather go to i'm sorry rather go to report here and in that report apply the filter that this should be pnl only and now you can see this is net profit let me uh, review that with you as well so let us select this and let us go one step up and you can see the net profit here is 1.289 that is exactly right and this chart is also coming downwards so you can see that in the reality the net profit was falling from the last year so my chart is giving me exactly right value so i think that is a basic analysis but one thing i need to do is to change the title so i will quickly do that as well so i will call that the gross profit and I will call this one the net profit. Okay, so now the, the, we have three beautiful charts and you can see that we, uh, the company is not having much problems with the gross profit, I mean the cost of sales, but we definitely are having big problems with other expenses and our net profit is, you know, uh, quite strangely declining. So we need to investigate that out one quick fix that you may like to see in your charts you you may like to represent separate lines for each year so for example if i'm working on gross profit and i have to present separate line what i'm, I'm gonna do is i'm going to bring in date here to the legend and now in this state i'm going to apply date hierarchy now i will need to remove this date from this axis so that you know it actually looks a little better and uh, here we have the separate line for each year and finally let me break it down by month as well so that you know it looks a little more detailed now you can actually see by month that how your gross profit is moving in each year and that actually looks pretty much you know uh, similar pattern in each year okay so let's do that uh, the similar thing for this uh, net profit as well but before that let me hide this x-axis in the gross profit because that is looking a little you know uh, untidy so i will hide that and now it is looking much nice and finally let's do the same thing for net profit let me go back to this uh, this matrix and in this these options i'm gonna hide i'm gonna remove year from this one and here i'm gonna bring in date to the legend and i'm gonna apply the date hierarchy to that and in that date hierarchy now you can see that we have these lines okay so uh now you can see what the where the problem is happening right so there is something wrong if i can break down the level by month as well there is something wrong with this orange line which is basically 2020 so if i just want to see this chart in you know in a bigger zoom manner i can click on this focus mode and it will take me to a specific screen where i will be able to see only this particular chart and i can go back to report anytime and now you can see that in the year 2020 there is a problem with the month of february and you know uh, even in the March and April and May and J June and July so all of these months are creating a lot of problem and uh, the net profit is supposed to be much higher uh, 
than what is than what we are seeing right now but in the last months the things are getting back to normal so we can actually go back to these particular months and see what exactly is happening in in which accounts this problem is happening but anyways i'm um, good for now so we have a better visualization uh, on our chart right now you may be thinking that uh, what if if we could add the sales revenue and the gross profit and the net profit all of these lines combined together into one chart so one chart having all of those trends presenting all of those those trends rather than the separate charts well that is possible with dex but without dex that is not going to happen and the reason is you can see that we can apply only one filter on a on a particular visual there is no filter option on a line that we could apply that please apply the gross profit for this line and net profit for this line that option is not available so uh, we can do that uh, in the same chart but with DAX so we will do that later on when we move on to DAX as well so for now I think this dashboard is good and we will be showing you some other uh, visualization options without DAX in the next lecture